Oh my god. This is bloody awesome. Hello again. This is a let's play number god knows what. I actually haven't got a clue. <laughs> but we've got some awesome information. Uh, patch 4.3 uh, has been <clears throat> talked about in various interviews on some websites. And uh, they're announcing the new raid, which will face Deathwing. And they've announced that it is the final raid of the expansion. You'll even get to ride on Deathwing's back. How awesome is that? Um, three new five man instances. One of them is going to be Caverns of Time, Wharf the Ancients, but I don't know what the other two are. Um, I am going to download the, the PTR because then I can try it myself and show you. You'll see that it's pretty awesome as well. Um, the biggest part seems to be oh, yes, there's a new Raid Finder as well. Just like the Dungeon Finder, spreads across like a few realms, I think, or lots of realms. I'm not sure how many realms it spreads across, but a fair amount of realms. We're also going to have a Dark Moon Fair Island with loads of activities such as like whack a gnome and I guess various fair activities, maybe like a punch bag or something. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. Um, what else is there? The Transmogrifier lets you change your appearance of any armor piece on you to another like tier so you have your stats for your gear it'll be like um, you can have uh, how do I put it like you have your say you have PvP gear and it has like I don't know how much stats things have how much stats does stuff have like I don't know <laughs> how do I not know this armor like I don't know, I don't know, three three hundred stamina. That's the best I can with. And you want it to look like the tier four set of whatever class you are. And it will keep the stats of your current PvP armor, but just make it appear like the tier four armor. So yeah, and you can do that with your whole set. So you can have a whole set of like the Grand Marshal gear or something like that. So it'll look really sick. And that's the Transmogrifier. Uh, how much it's going to cost, I don't know. I haven't got a clue. Um, if it's going to cost, if you have to have any armor of that set to wear that set, like I have no idea. Then there's Void Storage as well. You get to go to the Void Storage guy, which is like a new type of bank. You get to put your old bits of armor in there. Um, you have 100 to 150 slots but they will lose all gems and enchants whilst they go in that storage which is I guess the penalty that you pay whether you actually pay more gold again I, I don't know I haven't got a clue but you can it says new type of bank where you can put old armors in and then I look down here I'll put all the the various like links to where I got the information in but in the in the bottom but um ba -ba -ba. void storage is a very large bank-esque storage um, which allows old equipment to be stored. They said old equipment is like whether they've now changed it to old armor, but they, they said it was very um, uh, like a very loose term. So yeah, that's really about it. Yeah, so the void storage is gonna be pretty cool because I my bank is just filled with like all the Lightbringer stuff and then the Lawbringer stuff and then the Churalon stuff and then the Sanctified stuff and stuff and stuff and loads of old epics that you can't get anymore which I can happily store in the void storage and that's about it really so yeah that's all I can think of at the moment not long until BlizzCon, only like two months and then oh god I can't wait for that, I reckon they're going to release a new expansion I reckon so, well like it, like they said Mr. Mr. Pandaria and it's going to be the sort of wrath difficulty due to like how many people they lost because of cataclysm so yeah that's it thank you very much goodbye <laughs> i don't know what that was <laughs> see you later